Every day when Nyabel Wall thinks of preparing food for her family of five, she has only one option, to harvest the wild grass that grows near her home, known locally as wool. The plant grows virtually everywhere in South Sudan, and it is believed to be the only weed holding the deteriorating lives of thousands of people in Upper Nile State from starvation. Once Nyabel has collected enough wild grass, she prepares it for cooking. Nyabel's nephew, 12-year-old Ruan Gatluak, says he is tired of eating the same thing all the time. Nyabel recently traveled for six days to look for food, only to come back empty-handed. The nutritional status for children like Goner Pal has increased at an alarming rate in South Sudan as the conflict there continues. In response, UNICEF has deployed a rapid response team in remote areas such as this one. These teams bring desperately needed services, like health screening and treatment, as well as delivering life-saving supplies, such as ready-to-use therapeutic foods, micronutrient supplements, and medicines. The situation is bad. It is a dire situation. Um, we've talked to mothers. A lot of them are, are skipping meals, cutting down on rations. Um, eating wild foods, um, so access to food is, is the biggest problem. Um, access to health also contributes to the nutrition situation, uh, the sanitation situation, so it's a, a broad spectrum of um, access services that, that are contributing to the nutrition situation in oh. South Sudan. When the UNICEF rapid response team visited the neighborhood, it was confirmed that Nyabel's daughter, was suffering from severe acute malnutrition. The child was treated with therapeutic food in an effort to bring her back to good health. The dream of a safe and peaceful South Sudan is becoming a living nightmare for children. As the tireless efforts to deliver humanitarian assistance continue, hundreds of thousands of children in South Sudan's three most conflict-affected states remain at imminent risk of death and disease. Much needed support from the international community is urgently needed and may spell the difference between life and death for thousands of children and their families hanging on to life in South Sudan.